being Wendy. My name is Wendy and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, fitness and anything that I feel like telling you guys about. So if you're to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. Yeah, so today we have a guest on our show and I will let her introduce herself, herself but from the title of the video we'll know that we're talking about menstrual cups. So yeah, tell us your name and what you do. Okay, I'm Shanice. The social media manager for Crimson Care Kenya. So Crimson Care is just a, a company that produces menstrual cups. Menstrual cups is a little device that we it's revolutionary. It's revolutionizing pads. So we're trying to move into the sustainable period era. So we provide the the menstrual cups are made of silicone. Yeah. So we have. Okay, so when you, when you get one from us, it actually comes with a storage bag. So these are the storage bag we look like. This is the smallest cup. And we also have the largest cup, which is 30 ml. It also comes with a storage bag. Wow, that's, that's nice. I speak like this because I bought one from them probably over a year now. And I struggled so much using it. Like I use it some months and then sometimes I'm like, mm -mm, I don't think I'm ready for this again. <laughs> I really struggled with it and it's because a friend of mine used it and it worked perfectly for her, her mother, her sister, everyone. So that's how I decided to get one and then put it online. Yeah. So because of that, I'd like us to go into, um, so who can use menstrual cups? So anyone can use a natural cup yeah. okay? so as long as you have a vagina and yeah. you can menstruate you can use a menstrual even cup even teenagers like just when you start yeah even teenagers can use it yeah. if you need to say something parents are usually really skeptical like, yeah. oh you know maybe I can actually use my ancestor oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah ah okay sure. yeah because someone asked me can virgins use it <laughs> yeah it's a, we also get such questions and I think virgins can use it, yeah. which I think, but I know virgins can use it yeah. because the hymen of the vagina actually just stretches, does not tear. The only thing that makes you an virgin is maybe having sex. Ah, uh, yeah. Using a menstrual cup does not take your virginity. Yeah. It's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that serious, yeah. Yeah. So, um, something I'd also like to know. Okay. How comfortable? Are they when you're inserting it well? Because I know there's also it can be a bit uncomfortable if you're not putting it in properly. Yeah. But if you put it in perfectly, like the way it's supposed to fit, how comfortable? Okay, I've used them and I know using a menstrual cup is very comfortable because I can even sometimes forget that I'm not there because sometimes when you're busy because I'm also in school. Yeah. So you know, trying to juggle work and also school, sometimes you may forget. So because you can stay in for up to twelve hours, it's so comfortable that you won't even feel it and it's inside you when you insert it correctly. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because I do cycle with mine. Oh. And yeah, when I go like now I just finished my cycle, my air period. And we've been cycling the whole of this week and last week and I was using my menstrual cup. Mm -hmm. And it feels perfect. As in this last time I've used it and it worked. Before I was struggling, how many times have you used it? This this cycle I've used it every day. Okay. Yeah. This cycle like five days. Yeah. And yes, when I leave the house, I forget I even have it in engineering. Like, yeah. I'm on a period and then yeah, you're right. Um but before I probably used it maybe one cycle and then I feel it's uncomfortable or I didn't fit it in properly. Because now that's something I'd literally like us to demonstrate. Because then, if you don't, it will leak. Yeah. If it doesn't open up, it doesn't open up. Yeah, it will leak. Yeah. yeah. So show us how do we how do we fit this thing inside us? So, when you actually want to fit fit it, you need to actually wash your hands first. Yeah. You have to find a comfortable position, and then just relax. Just be yourself, you mm. see, to see tense because in tense the vagina will tend to ah, yeah. yeah, you won't insert it properly so once you're, you're comfortable you have to there, there are many types of folds so you can either use the punch bowl where you, you do it um, is, okay. yeah. so you, you also have the C, the C the fold C. you have the U fold you have the, you have the S fold oh I've never 
Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, the goal the goal is just to make it as small as possible so that it um, actually enters the vagina because that is the main point of folding because we didn't get that to uh, fold yeah, like that. So you just have to find like what works for you and you want to insert it as correctly. Well. Question about yes, I actually use the C, the C fold, or the one you were saying, the first one, which is punch down. The punch down, yeah. yes. There are many types, they also have the seven, you know, they, they are so many. Yeah, yeah. So if if it have, if you don't, okay, if you put it like that, how deep am I supposed to take it? So you actually have to, you know, many ladies actually are afraid of knowing what's inside them. There. So you have to yeah. actually, before you start using the like, you can just insert maybe a finger and just do no, it. Yeah. yeah. Because there are ladies who have a high cervix and yeah, those who are low. So you have to know where it can it can where you actually when you place it it will be actually okay to yeah. leak or any other issue. So you have to insert it as deep as possible yeah. if you can. So that's why after you fold it you have to make sure you push it in. Don't just insert the full match up. Mm -hmm. You just have to. Yeah, because you have it has to open up. Yeah, it has to open up. Then it works well from, from, right. from it. Okay. Yeah, because I remember the first time I had so much anxiety when I was trying to remove it. Because <laughs> I was like, where's that thing? Like, the, the, the. I fished for it for so long and I'm like, oh my god, if this thing is stuck inside me, <laughs> what am I going to do? Okay. But then I realized also I use it better when I have shorter nails. Because then you have more grip, more grip yeah. on the yeah on that. Because you know it's not a the, st the string. Let me call it a string. Yeah, stem. The stem part is not as long as like a tampon. Yeah. You know, for a tampon, it just hangs out and you put it's easy. But with this, I feel like sometimes I have to fish it out, and I'm like, can we do it? Then I find it. I'm like, oh, God. thank you. But then when I have long nails, gripping it to pull it down is yeah, a trick. Really. But actually, with long nails because I've also had like, you, you don't have to angle it with your nails. Yeah. You know, so when you're oh. side, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Just use your nails, don't use your tips. Ah, okay. 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 That's that's interesting. <laughs> um so we've said it can leak if it doesn't open up properly. Yeah, so to make sure it actually forms a seal with the vaginal nose so actually maybe you have to rotate it slightly. Uh -huh. And also you have to like maybe clench your pelvic muscles in your it will, it will open up eventually. So ah, you okay. Feel, you won't even hear the sound. You feel too. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. you always feel it. Yeah. Like, yes. Um. So, can we speak on cleaning? Because mm -hmm. we have to clean it now clearly because we are using it every other day. Yeah. Um. How do we clean our menstrual cups? So cleaning when okay in between periods, you just have to like use just ordinary water. Yeah. And so when after you remove it. Yeah. Okay, first of all, handling a cup, you have to wash your hands only. So after washing your hands, you remove it, you pour the contents, and then you have to replace it with tap water. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you're in a workplace situation, maybe you can just work with a tissue or yeah. a and then you it. Yeah. It's not so serious that you have to use you had like yeah. smash from products here. You can use soap. And just water. I also know yes. of someone who's saying she cleans hers by boiling. I think now after. Okay, now that's I think that's sterilizing. Mm -hmm. So when you're sterilizing a cup, maybe after every cycle, uh -huh. you have to like maybe you can boil your water. Yeah. And then put your cup. Yeah. But that is after you clean it. So yeah. You boil it. And it stays like five minutes. Then you remove it, dry it, and then you it. You can also boil it. Then in hot water and then after five minutes remove it. Yeah. <coughs> can we can someone get infections yeah. because of using the cup? No, not really. I don't think you can get infections in the cup. And we always emphasize on hygiene. Hygiene. Yeah. So handling a cup you always just have to make sure you have clean hands always so you also have to clean it often. Like when you're, when you're changing, maybe you say you're going to change every six hours, but you can stay up to 12 hours. You just have to clean it or often to prevent infections, but not really. Okay. Do you, would you say that there are disadvantages to using it? To using a cup? Yeah. Actually, if I, if I disadvantage to be very few, like maybe it cannot be used when you had an abortion. 
or you had a miscarriage or you had the normal vaginal birth process. Yeah. So you have to wait for like maybe six weeks, maybe, or yeah. as advised by your doctor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Yeah. So the leaking part, you just have to make sure you know, it's fitting you know, properly. You should just get the hang of it, maybe two periods later, maybe your first can be not so good. Yeah. The second, third can be good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we've talked about cleaning and we've talked about the disadvantages. So, finally, I'm going to ask you. Why should we be using menstrual cups as opposed to uh, sanitary towels? Okay. okay, I think using using menstrual cups actually has a lot of advantage on both as women yeah. and the 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 art yeah. as well, right. and the environment as well. So it's actually very important. So it's actually cheap because if you compare, you actually get it for two thousand one hundred. Both of them. Like, Oh, for both? Yeah, for both. Mm -hmm. okay. No, just each. a cup. Oh, yeah. Each is 2,100, but if you want to get the, the duo, it's yeah. 4,000 more. Okay. Yeah, so, and then you just spend that once in 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Which, if you calculate the price of pads, compound, you get to use in those 10 years. Very well. Because so around 3,000 is possible, which maybe is equivalent yeah. to. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so, you yeah. get to save, you get to save it. Actually, you can. Any activity you can go swimming with them. You can go hiking. You go cycle. You cycle. Yes. yes, you can cycle. There are so many activities that prevent you that, that you can't do with pads that actually around you when you have a cup. Mm -hmm. I can also see like to to the environment, to the earth, because there are so many. Yeah, because pads can um, decompose. You see, that there are a lot of swimming. Yeah. You know that situation is a threat to the marine Yeah. And a threat to earth as well. Yeah. We've had such an insightful conversation. I hope a lot of you guys have been able to learn a thing or two about menstrual cups. Make sure you follow us on our social media platforms. I will put all the links down below in the description. I'll also put Crimson Care's social media links down below. Then you'll be able to reach out to them if you need a menstrual cup and if you have any other questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your channel if you to my channel if you haven't. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Go <laughs> <laughs>